A story that will warm your heart on this cold, cold night. A downstate man's trip home on Sunday was suddenly halted by a head-on collision in Elger County. Luckily, only minor injuries were reported, but the man's dog escaped from his car and ran into the woods. He thought his precious pup, Gracie, was gone forever. But as TV6's Andrew Lacombe reports, many community members stepped up searching for Gracie around the clock. An update on Facebook and a notice of a lost dog put Amber Rood into action on Sunday night. I was in my pajama pants and winter coat and that was all and I saw it and I was like I have to go out there. The Ishwaming resident joined a team searching for Gracie. Gracie's owner Scott Wilson was driving through whiteout conditions around 2 p.m. Sunday on M28 near Deerton Road. He was involved in a head-on collision and got out of his car but didn't completely close his door. A few minutes later she came around and she ran into the woods. Uh, I chased after her and I couldn't find her. She runs pretty quick through the woods. After a weekend snowmobile trip in Copper Harbor, Wilson was heading back to his home in Shepherd, a town near Mount Pleasant. Gracie, a boxer, came to his family as a stray three years ago. When I f first saw her go, I said, I'll never see her again. I really thought that. Right away, a first responder put together a search team. And it just kind of mushroomed from there. Volunteers from as far away as Gladstone joined in. At least 30 people, okay. if not more. While Gracie was missing, conditions in these woods were far from favorable. Temperatures dipped to 7 below zero, and wind chills were as low as 21 below. Gracie did not take the path of least resistance. It 30 hours way. later, Gracie's Going adventures came ended. came out last evening about quarter after 7, and I uh, came out to get some firewood. She scratched at the door of this home just off the highway from where Sunday's accident so happened. I was just scared that she was going to take off again. Rude and her mother brought Gracie to the vet. She had a minor cut and some banged up paw pads, but now she's resting at a hotel in Marquette with her owner. What everybody did all of it. That was good. Appreciate everybody's efforts. Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News.